summarizing the third Higurashi arc, or Tatari Groshi. I'm not translating that. Translate that yourself. This time, Keiichi is alive again. Now he's best friends with Sadako, one of his other classmates. Oh, Sadako and Rika are like, they look like they're 12 years old. The rest of the cast looks 15 years old to me. They play baseball, and Keiichi gets really close to Sadako because Sadako can cook and he can't. Also, Sadako gets to be a lot more likable in this arc for me. I read the visual novel or the manga, not the anime, because the anime makes Sadako very unlikable. Unless it's Higurashi Gosotsu, which I don't mind. Keiji learns that Sadako had a brother named Satoshi that ran away. Or so he is led to believe. Rena and Shio don't actually think that he ran away. Some people say that he went demoned away or missing. And he's one of the fourth year's victims that went missing in Watanagashi. You know, that festival that goes every year or whatnot. Then Keiji gets a really bad nightmare, and then Rika shows up all depressed, and he learns that Sadako's uncles come back. And this means Sadako doesn't go to school for a bunch of days. And when she does show up, it's not good. Sadako's uncle is an awful person. And Keiji gets to learn how spotty Sadako's history is. Her childhood it wasn't nice, to put it lightly. The reason why Sadako has certain defense mechanisms some can find annoying is because uh, that was how she coped. If you don't like her pranks, for example. Keiji starts to get desperate in any way to try to save Sadako. He starts talking to Takano and Tomitake, who tell him about the year's curse and who they think might be behind it. Some people say it's Oishi. Some people say it's the Sonozakis, which Mion is a member of. Keiji just gives up and decides he is going to commit the perfect mystery, as in no mystery at all. Don't get caught, Keiji. Keiji also learns that Satoshi may have been the one that might have done something to the aunt a year before him. On the day of Watanagashi, Keiji makes Tepe exit left stage. He meets Takano on the way home. And Takano is acting sus. Keiji curses her. And the next day, his friend said, Oh man, you were so rowdy at the festival, but he's like, I was never at the festival, what's going on? He's telling only a couple few people that what he did to Tepe that he trusts. And he keeps cursing those who he thinks is betraying him. And then the cinchers when he hears that Tepe is still alive from Sadako. Goes over to Sadako's house the next day. He has to make sure Tepe is gone for sure. He sees Sadako in the bath for a really long time. And he's super worried about her. They go over to Rika's shrine. And they see Rika being eaten by crows. Sadako notices that Keiji has a machete. She freaks out, runs to the bridge. Sadako believes that she is cursed. And she thinks Keiji is possessed and pushes him off the bridge. The next time Keiichi wakes up, everybody in Hiyamizawa is gone. In the manga and the visual novel, it's not happy. He wanted to save Sadako so that everybody could be happy again, and failed.